Wow, go on everybody. Today we're out by Far Out Fish Out and today is the start of conch season in Jamaica. The very first day that we can consume conch. We're going to have some grilled conch and we're going to have some steamed conch. Heading into the kitchen out here at Fish Hut and as you reach the door, as you reach the entrance, the smell of just something amazing like seafood being roasted on an open fire, it just captivates your sense once you reach there. The smell is magnificent. I can't wait to get inside and actually see exactly what they have because I know that they don't use any gas. They use natural fire and coal fire for cook it and you know when you use that, it's a total different flavor that the food gets, especially seafood. Can't wait to try this. My kusu are going in the kitchen. Yes, chef. Yeah, yeah, my general. So you have lobster. I have fish. I have a conch. Some yam and conch as well. It's the first day of conch season in Germany. And we want to some proper conch. It's not just that you can pull up and get a fish. You actually get to choose the fish that you want. They bring out different varieties of fish right out from the kitchen, and you get to choose which one you'd like. I mean, if you want a snapper, if you want something else like the snook there, sometimes you can even catch a dog teeth snapper or even some different type of fish, a grunt or something that suits your flavor. Butterfish sometimes, I mean, depends on the catch as he says, it's so fresh that they can't tell exactly what they're getting, but there's a huge variety of fish that you choose your fish, the size you want, the weight that, that you want, how you want it prepared. I forget a fry fish, you know, we can't do nothing. Nah, man, this is a snook. Man, just load it up with some seasoning. Quick rub of that seasoning all over my Make sure you get down right into it till it reaches a bone. Chef, now waste our time in a quick thing you want to do in a quick month. Go ahead and do that nice shot. And just hammer out that conk, you see him just beat that. That is to make sure that there's a lot of tenderness in the conk. Sometimes we get two different type of conks here. There's conk that we call outer bank conk, which is found outside of Jamaican shores in deeper waters. And then you have inner bank conk. The inner bank conk is softer and you don't need to beat it as hard, but people still do it here in Jamaica. It's not like the Bahamas where they skew it and they put slices in it. Down here, we take a piece of stick and we beat the conk and make sure it's set. It's soft and it's tender, so when you steam down or when it roasts, it still have a tenderness to it. Not like you steam it out and bring, or boil it out and bring the flavor out. You want to cook them dry? No, I'm not want to cook them dry. This is my eat a raccoon for so. Okay. Two quick turns and it's right off the pan. Now it's time for the Prepare. roast well, cook. I understand. Yeah, man. So you say you just need to cut it up? Yeah. I want to put a little onion, bunny. Yeah. And a little pepper on them, something there. 
Da ti ja ne sijem ovo. See all of the char marks that we're looking for all of that clip on the pop right there. So let me ask you something, you roast the conk first and then steam it, that is just... No, 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 this is not going to steam, this is not going to steam. This is not going to steam, we already, we already roast already. Okay. We just go put a little spice on it, you know what I mean? Yeah, Let's put a little bit of the escovich pan. You know, it's going to be a little bit of flavor, you see me? The clear escovich is flavor. Yeah, yeah. Flavor. Yeah, my escovit sauce. Yeah, my escovit sauce, man. You don't mind. Some of that onion and the pepper. Yeah, you don't mind the pepper. No, man, I don't mind the pepper at all. All right. Look at that. A healthy serving of escovit sauce in there with onion and pepper. Yeah, man. So it's steam cooking. Yeah, it's all your steam on, isn't it? You all get splashing. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. It's the same process. Not tenderizing it as well. Dicing it, pump up again after I meet it. This one will have no steam down. But this probably will have a little bit of the okra, some of the scotch bunny, and some of the onion. You know where you have to be in the water. Nice, healthy amount of seasoning, and rub it down in there. Make sure every can, every crevice get a touch of it. Yeah, man. Onion, little scotch bonnet, pepper down to the seed, everything in there. I don't know, little scotch bonnet, pepper, holy boss, scotch bonnet, pepper, we are getting one of spicy too. You know, like when we go places, everybody want to load me up on the scotch bonnet, no, no, love the pepper, but wow, so what's that? That's some cabbage and some okra that just keep on to it. Nice amount of veg. And then I load it up with some of that manger. Yeah, yeah man. Pull out the pan, man. Ring it out. Oh, gift wrap it. Just a mean nice gift wrap. It's better than anything you could have wake up to pan Christmas, man. And wrap this up and wrap this up after it's steam for natural fire. Nice yeah, sauce. So, where, where, where does that sauce come from, my boss? I don't know what to say. Are they secret? Yeah, are they secret? 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 It's my lobster. So you don't want to cook it for the celery? So you have some onion and pepper. So after it goes in, you put that back in and then wrap it up. Yeah. You just cut up some pepper and stuff it right in there. But that lobster actually was on the fire already. And now it come off. Wow. Look at that. Generous serving a scotch bonnet and a generous heap in a margarine to make that extra sweet and then wrap up. Far out fish out. How hey. long you guys been here? Um, we've been here 35 years now. 35 years of yeah. serving some wicked food to Montego and pretty much Jamaica. Yeah, some of the best seafood in, in the Caribbean. What I would type say. of seafood you offer? Um, Alright, right now we offer a variety. The only seafood we don't really offer is probably clams and crab. But we offer fish, um, lobster, shrimp, kong, sea cat in different varieties. So we do them both steam, fry, and different styles. Sometimes we even we cater to our customers, so we even cater to different styles that customers may request. So just your style of seafood. Fresh catches every week, um, sometimes twice a week. That's the style. So fresh from out there, so yeah. I'm right in there, so. Right inside. So right I noticed there's, there's no gas out here. Um, that's, that's by tradition and that's by um, experience, I guess. The original idea behind Fish Hut was, I guess, it was brought on to my parents from um, like the roadside tradition in Jamaica's culture where you had coal, um, all coal fire and wood fire setups. So throughout tradition, the 30 years, we've been using the coal, no change. Today is the start of conch season. What kind of conch now? Alright, for you specifically today, we've prepared two batches. We've prepared a pound of grilled conch for you and a pound of steam conch. The grilled conk is used, um, it's just our escovitch, it's just our onions and our pepper and just our, esco our host escovitch sauce. And then the steam conk is a signature sauce to which we'll tell you about a little later. Though. You notice that the chef now wants to tell me nothing about the sauce. That sauce specifically is um, a, a house sauce. It's a house sauce. It's a blend of his culture and I guess my mother's culture. So it's a blend of what you would call the Caribbean culture in terms of like West Indians, where we have um, 
what you call them, indentured labourers. Mm -hmm. So I guess the fusion of having that culture with the local and African culture of Jamaica so it's itself. Indian culture and the African, African culture combined. basically combined into that sauce. And you just put in a pot over there, and you can tell so the pot season, it looks like it's seasoned for 35 years. Uh, <laughs> and the principle is that that 35 years of, of quality seasoning is just there that you don't have to use any additional spices any 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 extra dry herbs or no easy spice no extra you know your flavors you keep it simple and you keep it to what works and trust me it works and it works for you yeah man yo respect you know definitely every right, time oh, you just broke my hand <laughs> <laughs> sir and you <he> actually <laughs> cut my hand and don't <laughs> This lobster just looks absolutely amazing, smothered with onions, peppers, I mean the scotch bonnet is definitely in there, you can smell it, you stuffed all of that margarine in there with it, so it's basically a two cooking process and you can see that it's been cooked down, look at that, nice piece of lobster meat right there, we're going to try this now. so good great acidity and a pepper spice a lot of spice off of the onion itself the onion the lots of meat looks so fresh it's nice and flaky i when put an onion on it and cap it off with that onion see if we can get in there and get something out of it there Woo! nice piece yeah man you can see all of that seasoning on it the onion the scallion the pepper everything just on it and trust me you can look at it and see that this is fresh Caribbean lobster a sweet lobster taste it's the Escobit sauce on it so what I think they did is that when they opened it up and put the margarine the onion and the pepper in there after that they add a little acidity with some Escovich sauce and it tastes actually the smoke off of the char the coal as well the charcoal gives it a different flavor totally different from cooking on a gas fire real type of cooking so you almost have to put the fork on right there. every piece is just a bite of flavor a burst of something that's mm. oh man I want a piece of pepper just lick me down my throat. Total different flavor profile. I mean, you're starting to eat some of this and you get down into the nitty gritty and you just taste the freshness of the Caribbean. See, nothing like a sweet lobster. And nothing like that when you put something onto a grill and use charcoal. Cook with gas fire for home cooking. My real cooking, it was cool. Got right in there and get all of that meat off for the bone. Yeah, it's not that. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this and see what is in this. This look like. Oh, this is a shrimp. <laughs> That's the shrimp. I haven't tried any of this. So this looks like some of that special sauce. The sauce, this is a shrimp. It has some of that special sauce that this has been 35 years old, that they've been preparing that sauce. That's a whole sauce, what they're really known for. And you can see some of the scotch bonnet pepper in there, loaded with scotch bonnet again. And the onions as well so load it up you can see all of that look at this piece right here with all of that pepper on it sometimes i think people swear some I mean, really really want like nuclear pepper you know but they said this is pepper shrimp this was cooked down sauteed down and you can see that it has the scotch bonnet pepper with that 35 year old secret sauce in there it doesn't have shell on like a middle quarters pepper shrimp this is peeled and deviant but cooked down and you can see 
a lot of sauce, a lot of spices in there. The sauce has that look and that, that consistency, like it's cooked down with onions and some, I think they said that there were some garlic in here as well, so we'll see. Oh wow, the scotch bonnet pepper right away. That sauce is different though, it has, it's a sweeter taste. Let me try it again. Definitely tastes a hint of scallion in that sauce. And him says natural seasoning, so it's all natural ingredients that are in there. A hint of that scallion, hint of that onion. Scotch bonnet pepper, as I said, definitely pronounced in there. But the shrimp is cooked perfectly. It still has some snap to it. Still has a little bite to it. It's not over tough. Yo. The nostrils. The bite, the load. The pepper soak. But it's not the feet. I tell you, it's pepper shrimp. It's not, I mean, there's a lot of spice, but it's not too much. If you like spice, it'll work for you. I was the one that told them add some pepper on it. And I think since people see me eating some pepper with mark wings and stuff, they think that I like nuclear pepper. But still, Jamaican, I just like flavor on my plate. Finally, this is what we're there for. Kong season start today. This is the foil roast conch and you just have to catch it and run it across. See that all while open it across and then spread. Then wrap it up proper man. Oh my crystal are going in at this. Come season start and we're kicking it off proper. Oh crap. Yeah man. That same special 35 year old sauce cooked down with okra and cabbage this time in it. Good season start today. This is the whole reason why we're out here at Fish Hut. Before we even start, I have to add in a piece of this. You just catch a piece of that and make it go and soak. Make the bummy go and soak and then you get busy with the conk. So you have the conch, you have the okra, you have the cabbage. So just let it soak. Let that bami go and sit in there. It's been fried. That's a fry bami, it's not a steam bami. And then you can soak up some of that. Use the conch, the cabbage, some of the okra as well. I mean, little bit of pepper in there, everything. Each little place has some sort of flavor, some sort of vegetable or some sort of cabbage steamed down in there, into that conch. You can feel the consistency. It's gotten a lot softer. This is our Caribbean conk. I mean, this is a prized possession of Jamaica. If I tell you how valuable this is, you wouldn't even believe me. This is worth over 260 million dollars that we've lost as a country over the past 20 years because of illegal fishing, unregistered harvesting, and just poachers coming into our waters. We've had to shut down the conk industry for two years. In those two years, the Ministry of Agriculture in Jamaica estimates that over 6,000 Jamaican jobs were lost because of the ban on conk not being able to export it. So which is why conk season, I've been looking forward to this. This is the first time I've been getting to eat conk in a little while. I had to come out and just try some conk right now. Mm. You can see the black pepper. That's all that's on it that I can taste, you know, just a black pepper off of this. And then you have the seasoning, the natural seasoning that them say it's a 30, 35 year old house seasoning that they put on it. And it just adds extra flavor to the meat itself. Conk don't really have a strong seafood flavor, but it's a little sweet in itself. But when you add just a little salt and pepper to any seafood, it brings out a whole heap of the ocean flavor, and that's what you're looking for. This really has been brought up nicely with that added spice. There's some scallion in there and something else in there. Blaine, Blaine didn't want to give up any other secret. He didn't even tell me what was in there. And him tell me that he's not even the chef making it. It's somebody that him father has taught to make the sauce that he's trusted for the 35 years of the place being there. I have to mop up some of this now. See so this? So it, this consistency has changed. Before it was crispy. No, you get all of that flavor, and you just add some of that bami with the conch in there. Nice piece of bami. Tough, not tough, but crunchy. Fried, and have a crunch. No, once it soak up that seasoning, nice like a piece of crackers where you're putting in your steamed fish. When you touch that with a little bit of the okra. 
a little bit of the cabbage and piece of corn on it. Problems. Use a bummy, similar to like how you would use it. Use a crackers when you're having steamed fish. So you sap out some of the juice, get some of the okra, get some of the conch, and a little bit of the cabbage. Mm. And it all mixes and blends well. Trust me. I'm okay one day. Mm. Next patient same treatment. This is grilled conch. We saw when they put this on and they grilled it directly onto the flame. Just the grill on the open fire and then them add some escovite sauce and cook it down even more. You can see the black pepper that has popped on that fire. So this is the part that I was telling you about that supposed to have a lot of flavor right here. So all of that supposed to catch up some of the seasoning and some of the fire, the coal itself and some smoke onto it. There is of course scotch bonnet pepper and onions as well. I think everybody hauling up because of the pepper but you travel around Jamaica you find all different types of conch and how they prepare conch. Out here I must say is one of the places that made me fall in love with conch as a child. This is one of the reasons why I come out here today because conch season starts today and this grilled conch is like no other that I've had. Everything is wonderful. We had a good meal from the fish coming up to the lobster, to the shrimp, to everything. But this is a, this is what we there for. This is a grilled conch or something where we make your walk come out here for anywhere you're there. Those little pockets right there, when that char hits you and it pops, it has a little crunch on it. Sometimes you get a pepper crunch of the black pepper, sometimes you get a crunch of just something about it. But this one, when that pop, it's like, Crack. Not crack con, but like it tastes good. See it there. It's not tough at all. I mean, it's just sweet. Good old con seasoning. Wow. You don't even know how it is. Long are waiting for some con. Good old con seasoning. Wow. And the little onion and cheers. Just hit me with the black pepper. It's, it's, it's just a flavor toss up. You never know what you're going to get. Either you're going to get a piece of conch that has intense conch flavor when it burnt like that and it has that little char in it. Or you're going to get a piece of black pepper which goes amazing when it's burnt onto the conch. Enhancing flavors. The acidity of the onion. This is the onion. The acidity in it. Along with the pepper flavor of the scotch bonnet, you know, so once you see whole heap of scotch bonnet in there, complete different flavor. So it's almost like having two different meals at once. You can have it without the onion, without piling it on, and just have it, I wouldn't say soft, but just have it without anything. Or you can put the onion on it, add some acid to it, change the flavor profile, and trust me, it's just different but it's nice. Take some of that. Some of the escovite sauce on it as well. Yes, I had them and scotch on it. I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to try them already. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hot fire. Yeah, right. <laughs> good stuff. <clears throat> yes, I wicked. Wicked, man. Well done, chef. I mean, you taste all the flavor and spices. You talk about the escovite. Is that a different uh, thing? You ever had escovite from Kong? It's a different thing? No, never before, but <clears throat> this is really, really good. I mean, the texture is perfect. I mean, not too trashy. It's just great. Mirza, good mix. Mira, so you're a place and you come every time you touch them. Listen, can I not come to Jamaica without missing the fish out? Number one spot from day one. Then you prepare for that. 100%. <laughs> 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 great spot, great spot. Curry warm. <laughs> yeah man, no respect sir. Oh yeah sir. Yeah, man. You're not touching my food. Uh, yeah man, I eat the food already man. The grill con amazing. Nice. The grill con go on with that thing. Yeah, 
but you're heading into Montego Bay or you're heading out into Kingston right on the side of the road if you want some seafood you just stop over here and I can tell you the smell will invite you as soon as you pull up to fish out you'll smell that seafood flavors just bursting out and coming out from the kitchen here smell it across the road as you step into the parking lot and step out of that car the smell of that kitchen just captivates you the lobster the conch the fish all of that cooked down on an open fire like that well folks i mean conch season there it's the start of conch season in jamaica i have to say big up to everybody at far out fish hut from the chef to blaine to all of the staff the food was absolutely amazing everything that we came for which was especially the conch as i told you it's conch season now in jamaica so just a start of one of the lovely conch spots that i like to check out there are numerous ones on the island check them out if you get a chance if you're ever passing by and remember until next time stay blessed big up shellings 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 shellings